can remember Lorraine setting the bedroom on fire. Uh, and I were only young then, I was probably only about five. But t still to this day, if you talk about it to me, aunties and stuff, and they still say, we don't know which one of you it was. So when did you first become aware of the story of the playwright Andrea Dunbar? And what drew you to the subject of her and her family? Well, um, I grew up near Bradford and I saw the film Read Sue and Bob 2. Um, so I knew, I really knew her work as a, a, the adaptation of her plays before I knew her as a playwright. And I didn't really know about her life until I began making the film. Um, but yeah, I'm the same generation as Andrea Dunbar and same, come from the same part of the world. You know, back then you didn't have the double glazing and stuff that you get now. Um, you know, the house was horrible, no carpets, no central eating, locked in a room with no door handle. Why did you choose the approach of recording original interviews with her family members and friends and then having them, having it lip synced by actors? Yeah, I used the technique of actors lip syncing to the voices of, of the interviewees because um, I, I guess I want the audience to be aware of the gap between reality and representation and to um, give a, a distance so you think about the fact that documentary is constructed often in very similar ways to the way that uh, a fiction might be constructed. Um, so I wanted an audience to be able to engage emotionally with the subject matter but also to be able to unpick the layers of representation. I just didn't agree with anything that she said. She was more or less blaming my mum for her being on drugs. I wouldn't ever use my mum dying as an excuse for anything that I've ever done in my life, really. Because we've all got to learn by his mistakes. To me, she'll bang out of order what she was saying. Have you screened the film in Bradford? And if so, what's the reaction been? Yeah, yeah, it's screened in Bradford and the other, I mean, it's a very um, tragic film and uh, the reaction was, um, you know, it's, pain, it's very painful and I think it was painful for a lot of people um, and the, um, you know, many of the participants like Lorraine and Anne and Steve, they really, uh, you know, they are really proud of the film and uh, they feel that it did justice to them, which was very important to me as a filmmaker. And um, some of Andrea's family find the things that Lorraine says about Andrea difficult, understandably. Um, so yeah, it's, it's screened in Bradford.